No, 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 no. What? We're not doing that again. Why oh, not? Because I actually found one. Yeah. Okay. I'll believe it when I see it. Hey, Optimus. What are you supposed to be? I am Optimus Prime. And Q intro. And online. The game transmission of Transformers Review. back for another video review and today we're going to be taking a look at the last thing I bought at TFCon. Um, I still have one more figure I have to do but I figure this will get me through until that time um, and hopefully that video went live on Friday, uh, this last Friday. But anyway, today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Prime First Edition uh, Optimus Prime, the black and gold version. Now as you see, I did take him out, so he's kind of loosey-goosey in there, but that's how I have him displayed. Um, nice in the box. Nice first edition up there on the top, which nice you can see. Nice first edition there, up at the top. He does have the Autobot logo tampoed there. There's uh, nice, just a nice background. Nice, nice overall box. Um, you got a nice picture of Prime here on the side. I'm moving my TFCon poster thing. Includes display stand on the back. You get your obligatory product shot of him in robot mode and him in vehicle mode. You get the same stock prime pictures here. Um, Wheeljack, er, not Wheeljack, Cliff Jumper still included, even though he was killed off in the first episode. Whatever. And you have the, as Emigo calls it, the Sad Pac Man. Focus on Sad Pac Man. Focus on Sad Pac Man. There you go. Oh, poor Pac Man, he's so sad. Oh, ho, ho, ho. But then you do see his technical specs here, profile and words I can't read, but on this side. You have a very nice heroic picture of Optimus Prime there going all, hmm, I'm standing tall. So, let's get him reopened up and out of the packaging, and I'll show you how cool he actually is. And when you open up the packaging, you do get your white cardboard rock. Meh. I just stick this back down inside and have Prime stand on it. Yeah. <sighs> It's nice because this has uh, the Transformers Prime logo on it, I think, in all Japanese, which is pretty cool. I actually should have uh, Kimiko-chan read that to me and see if it's actually Japanese. So, nothing on the back, nothing on the other side. The top gets this nice little dirt gradient to it. Um, mountains. It's a white cardboard rock. <laughs> anyway, on to the figure. Had a little dirt. On to the figure itself. Um, it's just your basic... That's a little crooked, I just noticed. Hmm, maybe my tape's not holding. It's your standard Prime. Your first edition Prime, just in black and gold. Um, I don't know what made me pick this guy up at Bot or TFCon. BotCon? Get your cons right, man! Um, but just something about this guy just stood out to me. Because he's... Maybe because he's black and gold. I don't know, just... Just something is awesome about this guy to me. Um, he does come, and I'm not going to be able to find it, of course, because I don't particularly like it. He does come, whoa, comes with this blaster that I can drop on the ground. Um, but it's just white, or excuse me, black plastic molded uh, completely. So there's no detail on it whatsoever, but eh. And he did come with his mahusively Rubber sword, which I believe I threw away. I want to say, maybe it's on my on the floor somewhere. I don't know. I'm cleaning my room tomorrow, so I'll probably find it. But that's one problem I have with this guy. Now, I'm not sure. Let me get the box here. Yeah, and I actually have these right because when I first transformed this guy, the smokestacks fell off. But I'll show that more when I get to the transformation of the guy. Um, he does have this really nice Autobot logo picked out on the side, and nice silver detailing, nice red paint there on the side. This has sparked my interest in the Voyager Prime. Now, I may actually, at some point, pick up the first edition Optimus Prime mold, um, just because this guy is awesome. For a quick size comparison, here we have the R.I.D. version of Prime. Um, and from the images, they didn't look too different to me. 
But having this guy in hand next to the first edition mold, just wow. There is so much different in the first edition. So much that's improved. I'm going to try something. Oop, there we go. Just so much cooler, so much more detail, so much more love and affection that went into the first edition mold. But there he is with original power. And Rider here Prime. we have him with Beefamus. Now, Beefamus and first edition stand roughly about the same size. I think Beefamus might be slightly taller, but um, as you can see, they do... Beefamus is a slight bit heavier, but um, first edition just has more screen accuracy going for him than, than the... Uh, R.I.D. version, which just looked looks anorexic next to him. It there really is a difference between show accuracy and toy. With the first edition, you get both a wonderful toy and a wonderful uh, physical representation of the CGI model. Sorry, Prime, but Prime beat you to the pr pr um, Prime out. So first of all, let's go over the posability. Um, for his articulation, you have a head that is on a ball joint, so you can get nice, expressive looks. Um, he doesn't really like to look up and down, so it's basically just on a swivel, but it is ball jointed. There in the back. You have to take the, uh, head apart to get at it, but it is on a ball joint, because you can kind of get him going. He does rotate all the way around, 360 degrees. He goes up about that far, um, and his shoulder pads are articulated, so to accommodate you know, those sorts of poses. He does swivel at the elbow, and he bends at the elbow, and he does not rotate at the... Oh, uh, well, he does rotate, but he doesn't go in and out at the wrist. He does have a nice waist joint, but it, if you do the waist joint, he kind of looks like he's been cut in half. Just saying. Looks like Prime got cut in half, which didn't happen in this incarnation of Prime. Yet. So if Prime doesn't die again, I don't know what's going to happen. His feet go up about that far and out to the side. And it does bend. It does bend very nicely. Um, only a single joint, so you don't get a whole lot. But it's solid. Solid back there. Unlike some other Optimus Primes I know of. <clears throat> anyway. He, and he does um, have a ball joint here. Actually, is it a, no, it's just a, just a hinge joint here at the foot. Um, and he does rotate slightly, but I think that's mainly for the transformation. One thing that you're kind of seeing that bugs me is these don't tab on securely and stay there. I guess that kind of, never mind. But you'll just be knocking him about, and as you can see, when I set him down... Maybe you can't, but it kicked his shins out of place. That's how they're supposed to be, and if you just set them down kind of gently, it does it even if you set them down gently. Hmm. Well, his legs kind of bug me. And then another thing, one last thing that bugs me, is these. These are very rubbery, they, and they come out extremely easily, and they don't really tab into anywhere securely on his back. Um, I get, they'll stay in like they won't fall out, but I just wish they could have been a gold plastic. And I know that we hate gold plastic, but it, I, it kind of worked for those. But I understand limitations of the original mold and stuff like that. So, let's get on down to the transformation. What you want to do first is come around here to the arms and unpeg them. Simple as that. Rotate him. Kind of bring he bring these to the front. Fold these arms around back. Rotate them like this. I think I might be doing this wrong. And I kind of hold him here for a second. Rotate him at the waist, which will kind of unpeg this back section, but that's okay for right now. Then coming back up here to the arms. You want to take the arms, raise them up, just to get them out of the way. Keep those pegged in. Take this arm section here. Fold it out, which we did, oh, that way. 
fold the hand up inside and close that around like that. Then you can rotate this around. Like Alright, that. that gets you can actually see that. So what you want to do, take this panel, fold it in, fold it down, and there you go. Then just rotate it around so it makes the front of the cab. Then take this entire assembly, then take these. I think you rotate them. Hold on a second. Okay, so once you have them in this position, all I did was, from this position, rotate it down. Get these kind of out of the way here. Come on. Come on. There we go. Take these panels, fold them up. Well, something disconnected. What connected? Oh, well. Then take this, fold it up, and it should tab in. Oh, wait. These are... Stop it! Well, before you do that, I forgot a step. You want to take these, bring them down, rotate the wheel well out forwards, if you can get it out from behind the back, which you move that, and then bring that out and around. The same on this side, unhook that, rotate that, bring this out and around, bring this up to the hood, peg it in, then just kind of squiggle everything into position. So once you get the front looking like this, you basically just had to fiddle everything into position. Um, and yes, the smoke sacks fell off. I've got them right here. I'll put them on in truck mode. Um, so once you have his truck mode looking kind of like a GER truck, which it's kind of funny, they're actually starting to put in the promotional pictures now for Hasbro toys. Lean you up against the back. Alright, so once you get them in this position, you can take the feet, fold them in. Orient these properly if they've come undone. Fold these back and peg them into the top of the cab section. Peg those together. Now before you put the legs together, there's this little connector. There we go. You just want to reach in here with your fingernail, pull it out, and then you want to just tab the legs together. Redo anything that may have possibly come undone. And here you have First Edition Prime in his vehicle mode. And here we have him completely in his vehicle mode. I had to reattach the um, smokestacks because they they kind of fell off. Um, I do really like this vehicle mode. It's kind of funky looking, um, but you know what? I like it just a hair better. I mean... Maybe seeing it in its red and blue colorings, i.e. on Prime colors, would be a little bit more Prime-esque. That's the one thing I don't like, is these wheels are very wobbly. Um, I put him down, and he's like a sad car. Um, so, here he is. Set him off over here. Say. And here's the R.I.D. Now, it's hard to say which one's more screen accurate. I believe the first edition is more screen accurate for the first couple seasons of Prime. Um, I believe, like, season one, he's more this style. And then start, like, halfway through season two, he kind of slowly merges into this style of Prime. Although we don't really see him in vehicle mode a whole lot. But it's enough there that it's different. Um, you do see how they look together. And granted, you see these two coming down the road, you're going to move off to the side. Um, you see the first edition is a lot taller than the Voyager Prime here from R.I.D. Um, and he doesn't have the blatant Autobot chrome sticker there on the side. Mainly because, well... It's right there. Which I thought was genius, but they covered it up with a panel, which is awesome. Um, overall, I like the enge engineering of the first edition over the engineering of the R.I.D. I do like the paint apps on the R.I.D. Um, just the first edition wins out overall. And I think in my Voyager Prime video, I said I wasn't going to get the... Uh, first edition prime just because this was a really decent prime by itself 
And if I did, I'll stand by that. This is a decent prime. I think it looks better in truck mode, personally. It just looks more like an actual truck. This nose is a little long and chunky. And If I'm going to nitpick this toy, uh, the windows are a little small for a semi-truck. This just has the more proportionate look to the semi-truck. Is all that's good with this, aside from the crap windows. Which, this one actually has transparent windows, but it's not marred by... Ooh, mech tech alive. Ooh, look at that. Fancy. No. So, overall, I really do like the first edition Prime. He does have his blaster, which can be stored here, here, or here. Although, I just find Prime with a gun looking really, really stupid. And unfortunately, we never did get a trailer, at least to my knowledge, that fits Prime. He had it in one episode. I'm not sure if any third-party companies have released a trailer for this guy. So, um, I do like the Autobot symbol there on the hood. Um, but then again, so did the uh, RD version had that. And it's The paint apps, I can't really compare because this is first edition limited special ooh, looky looky mold. And this one's just base standard. Yeah. Although this one, no rubber smoker stack. Rubber smoke stack. I, I do not like the rubber smoke stacks at all on this guy. Ugh. Bugs me. Anyway, I'm going to go edit this video and hopefully get it uploaded on Friday. So, as always, guys, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optimus Prime. I will talk to y'all later. Hmm. I just noticed he has this uh, under thing on his gun there, like something's supposed to attach. Interesting. Oh. Oh, I wonder. Uh, oh. Oh. That means. Oh. Okay. I think I know what that does. But I'm not going to say it on camera. If I find what I'm thinking it's supposed to do, I'll post an, ad an addendum video like I did on my MP13. So, anyway, guys. This has been Optimus Prime. Thank you for watching. I want to say I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Great night. Whenever you're watching this. Take care, guys. Hey.